Hi, welcome to this course and I am very much excited today. Finally, I am able to bring you this complete training on hosting management with ISP Config. Throughout this course, I will provide a very detailed demonstration on managing DNS, email and web hosting. My objective is to create a detailed tutorial on configuring DNS, email, web server, web security, performance optimization and creating business mail server with ISP Config. It took over 25 videos to complete the course. Explained each topic in detail with a step by step approach. For your ease of understanding, I have demonstrated each topic with presentations, animations, and relevant visual elements. And after completing the course, you will be able to manage your own hosting environment. I hope you will enjoy this course. See, ISP Config is an old friend actually. I have been using it for the last 12 13 years now and hosted thousands of customers website and email accounts without any issue. It is very robust and feature rich than other open source solutions. We can manage single to multi server hosting environment with it. ISP config has millions of deployment up to this time and has a large community for many years. If you see how to forge which is the most popular block site for Linux admins, they are the maintainer of ISP config and they are creating wide variety of deployment guidelines for a very long time. ISP Config is a trustworthy and very mature hosting panel and can be used as an alternative solution to any commercial one. Now before jumping into the installation, let's discuss about the various practical deployment scenarios for the ISP Config. During deployment, we have two choices. We can install ISP Config on a single server environment or we can install in multi server mode. On a single server mode, all the functionalities will be installed on a single machine and the server can be used for web, email and DNS hosting. All the functionalities will be available on the same host. It is also possible to use the server only for web hosting or mail hosting or as a DNS server. We will see this later. During installation, we have two choices for the web server. Either we can choose Apache or Nginx as the web server. And on the multi server mode, we can install web component and mail component on a separate machines. In this way, we can create a big multi server hosting environment. And all of the servers can be managed centrally from a single interface. And the server can be deployed on on premise or on the cloud. Any physical server or VPS from the cloud will do. If we want to use the ISP config only for web hosting, that is very possible. We can host HTML, PHP, WordPress, or any other CMS hosting with the database. We can install only the web component to make it a dedicated web hosting server. This type of setup is best suited for the web hosting company or in the organizations as an internal web application server to host internal office blocks, CMS, etc. Or the developers can use the server as a development server where multiple sites and multiple versions of the site can be hosted easily during rapid development. We can use the server as an email hosting platform or as a dedicated business mail server. We can host multiple domains mail. Virtually unlimited domain and email account can be created. We can use webmail or Outlook like desktop apps can be used to access our emails. To access the email management interface, we need to install the web component as a mandatory option here. If we use ISP config as a dedicated DNS server, that is also possible. In that case, we will get a GUI interface to manage DNS server and the records. Either we can use DNS with mail or web functionality or as a dedicated DNS server to provide name resolution service for the whole organization. So these are the three main functionalities we can manage through ISP config. On the upcoming videos, we are going to explore more on these topics. Now let's go for the installation. This is our installation plan. First, we will take a VPS from the Vaulter. Then we will configure the Cloudflare DNS to access the URL with the host name. Then we will go for the installation. We will use the ISP config auto installation script, which is very easy and faster than the manual setup. If you want more customization on the setup, you can go with the manual installation from the how to forge. Now let's log into Walter. Create new VPS. We will take a cloud compute, regular performance CPU. Let's select Los Angeles and Ubuntu 22.04 LTS. Let's take one vCPU with one GB memory. That is okay for now. We don't need auto backup and IPv6 also. 
let's name our server isp dot com now click deploy now it will take some time to provision the server so server is ready now let's click on the server name so it says that your server may still be finishing installing so it will take some time within this period we can configure our dns so this is our ip let's go to the cloudflare dns we need to create a, a record let's name it isp we don't need cdn support right now so our server's host name is isp.mailserverguru.com so the domain name will be auto added here click save so our dns record creation is done now let's log into the server so our server is ready and we have uh, logged into our system now let's check the ip the one two one two zero seven let's set up the host name host name should be fully fqdn isp.mailserverguru.com and let's copy the ip we need to change the loopback ip to the public ip so we are finished configuring the system now check the host name isp.mailserverguru.com this is the domain mailserverguru.com and this is our ip and this is our operating system version and we have the name resolution okay so we are good to go now let's go to how to forge so it says to configure the it's the host name and everything so we have done that now let's do the apt update and upgrade it is always recommended to update the system so the vanilla os is already upgraded now on the fourth step it says they run the auto installer install isp config with apache web server this one and if you want we can use nginx by default is the apache and on the down below it has all the options mentioned here so we will use the apache as our web server Let's execute. Newer kernel, okay. Just enter. It's okay. The script will reconfigure your complete server that is okay type yes hit enter so it's installing the ssh nano all the required packages and activating the rspamd by default it is using rspamd for the uh, spam and virus filtering for email it's installing now the dope code these are for the mail server and the pop server so everything will auto install if you need more step-by-step -step installation then we can follow the step-by-step -step guidelines this will be more time consuming than the auto installation now installing all the php packages php extensions the installation of the php extensions uh, took some time 
now the installation proceeding again this is good that uh, it's installed the let's encrypt ssl certificate now it's almost finished finally it's installing the isp config so now the installation is completed here all the services are okay and it provides the admin password and here is the mysql password so we need to copy this now let's log into the ui click advanced proceed so this is the isp config dashboard we have logged in successfully and our installation is okay i will not go further now i will give you a detailed tour of the dashboard and explain each topic shortly on the next video so this is it for now i'll see you on the next video bye